winning the Arab Clubs Champions Cup in the summer. They're still going strong in the AFC Champions League after the group stage, saying that cup success can lift the mood and reinvigorate their campaign. All and short of their own recent standards so far this season. 11th in the league at the moment after finishing... <laughs> There's Igor Bischan, the coach. And... <laughs> On the right-hand side, uh, Ivan Barton from El Salvador is the referee this evening. A traditional greeting between the two coaches. By referee Barton, and away we go. With Al Nasser in the yellow shirts, kicking from playing in the Arab Clubs Champions Cup, and it, it backfired pretty badly. And given how well Al Hilal have done, they've really been trying to play catch up all season. And then, of course, they lost the big game against them just over a week ago. Well, that's the, that's the case, isn't it? I think when you're coming up against the team, 10 minutes from the end, as uh, Garib sends it forward, chased by Mane, out comes Kim. And in the morning, yes, he's playing so higher than it being advanced and we've just seen him just making him little Radif wants it in the middle Radif almost sneaking in on goal there's an excellent ball as well played in Mullard he just played that ball in he just does really well at times he's run brilliantly Decent ball in Still away, but it's very confidently nodded back there to uh... Fana getting well forward here. It'll be a free kick and conceded. Might need to be. It's Ronaldo who strikes it and good save by Kim. I'll tell you what, it's not the bravest wall in the world, is it, by any stretch? Because I think it's in the midriff of the wall and it just splits quite quickly, you'll we'll see here, which causes a problem. That's a lovely play, great feet from Garib, still hasn't worked out though, and uh, the ref's given a penalty to Al-Shabaab for the challenge on Yannick Carrasco, just inside the box. Well, my first initial thought was something's happened quite quickly. To find out, it's Carrasco, and it's a terrible penalty. He falls over, and the ball ends up in the back of the... Stand rather than the a lovely ball in from Fafana. Good save by Kim. Fafana on the follow up wasn't about to be denied at the second opportunity. Kim Sung Yu making the save, but Fafana prevails and having survived a penalty scare at one end, soon after Al Nasser take the lead at the other. Well, we've spoken about him, haven't we? Just early on in the game, of what he. Oh, oh, so good. Is there enough on that pass to find Fard Al Mualad? There is. That's a decent delivery as well. Oh, Ronaldo was caught by uh, Al Mualad there. Yellow card. Yes, and I think it's granted. I think it's a really good decision from. Field and now Cristiano Ronaldo into Garib. He'll take the return. And he'll miscue the shot, which is Fafana into the box again, into Ronaldo! Kim with the save, and... Uh... Carrasco's delivery, and the header for the equaliser! What a big moment! Iago Santos! Carlos Jr. gets his head on that one. It's an absolute bullet of a header as well. I'm just quizzing how on earth... He's got that much time. He hasn't even jumped for the ball. It's literally come. Otavio to his right, Gary to his left. He's gone for Otavio, who finds Mane. And it's a delightful goal from one end of the field to the other. Class for 2-1. Mane with the finish. He's scored in every round. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to see counter-attacking football at its best, have a watch of this goal. This is Al-Shabaab having a corner... How they find him snag with Sultan Al Ghanam. Here's Sekou Fafana whipping that one in. Al Ghanam with the header. Here making tracks ahead. Passing towards Al Mualat. It was almost there, and Al Katani just. <laughs> Al Akidi had to be very quick, quick to get off his line there to make the save. Roman Saiz gets the better of Ronaldo. Great 
at least halts their advances for a moment or two. Just keeping the ball, making my own side work. Octavio floating it in towards Mane. I wonder what uh, Igor Bishan makes of it so far. Time to engineer a chance before the break. Brozovic across! And it's in. 3-1. Abdul Rahman Garib in the right place at the right time. And a tough tie has just got a whole lot more difficult for Al Shabab. Yeah, they've been quality at last 20 minutes or so. They've really forced the issue and made heart the pitch. I think sheer class has just rose to the top. Yeah, Al Nasser have just got that extra bit of quality. Garib thought he tied it up, but he's actually conceded possession in a dangerous position and Carlos Junior earns the favour, it's Cristiano Ronaldo it's some way wide of the goal well, there was... so they haven't missed him but they say they have never spoken without him shot going wide from Yannick Carrasco they have at least managed to get a goal tonight they failed to do so in three of the previous four meetings with Al Nassar and the, IR, the, the left back is the player on the ground to final tie, referee Barton is for the match to continue imminently. Majority of the people inside the stadium as Yannick Carrasco still goes. And finally, Laporte brings that formation pretty sharpish, which they've managed to do, but Mane is still giving them the slip. Create a spark. Roman Saiz gets a yellow card for his challenge on Seco Fafana. It was late as well. And Saez, Saez down the line there for Diallo. In behind Al Ghanam as the ball was fed forward. In towards Carlos. Al Nasser survive. And Ottavio is just held back there with a cynical foul. That's a yellow card for uh, Al Fatani. Carlos Jr. just moments before where he had the opportunity. Octavio beside himself with annoyance. Yeah, try and combine. It's into Ronaldo. It's brilliant. It's 4-1. Take another look at this. It's absolutely breathtaking. It really is. And I think I said that they didn't have to go and get that fourth goal. And I thought it would and should be inevitable that they do when you have a Cristiano Ronaldo on the pitch because you can create and cause manic in any single game. And as we said, didn't we? You know, he always wants to get on the score sheet, no matter what. 4 0 when they met in the league at the back end of August. Now, that's for the home team that day. It's on Babri with the return ball. Al Mawalad sending it back in, and the header clear by Al Ghanam. In the game, early on in particular, where the home side really got about them, didn't they? And, and Shahili. Shahili. And he had a couple of minutes in the round of 16 as well. Rare touch of the ball in the second half there for... Again, he wants another goal, doesn't he? <laughs> More pressure here for Al Shabab to deal with. And Ronaldo whips that one in venomously. And Mohamed Miran on to replace him. Still plugging away, a decent effort and uh, the save and Hatem Babri is there and Al Shabab do have a second goal on the night just moments after the uh, unexpected half opportunity that befell to Dia. Got the better of Eva Benega, he's got the pace to, to beat him and try and set it up for number five. Brilliantly done. And the job is complete for Al Nasser. 5-2. And it all really came from the intensity and the determination so late in the day from Sadio Mane. And Mohamed Maran celebrates. I'm rather hoping the whistle will blow. And indeed it does. And Al Nasser 